We are filming a video in a today's video. <sighs> I've actually had this video planned for quite a long time. Oh, my debit card's in there. Better, better hide. I don't want anyone to steal any money. <laughs> but I've had this video in mind for a little while now, and it's. If you already saw by the title, I'm gonna be reacting to emo outfits on Google because let me. Be a director and set the scene for you. It was like elementary school for me when I was little. I was always obsessed with this kind of stuff. I always was obsessed with the emo subculture and wanted to like have every single like scene or emo outfit. <laughs> and so I used to make these collage boards full of like these little outfits on you. These little outfits I would find on Google when I would search like emo girl outfits or whatever. And I want to find them so badly on my old computer so I can try to like recreate them. But this was like a big important thing to me. This was what kind of got me to my style. And I've been in the subculture for a while. We'll see like, hey, what do I like? What do I not like? We'll see what outfits we have. I'll rate them. I'll talk about them. It'll be fun. And let me know down below what you guys think of the outfits too, whether you're in the subculture or not. This is a Pinterest emo outfit. And you could totally tell. So I like the cutouts on the sweater. You could also go about saying that that's not- you could wear it if you weren't emo. It's not like a specifically like BAM shirt kind of thing. They- okay, those jeans, I'm in love with because they- they look like shorts, but they're jeans. I want a pair of those jeans like so badly, like oh my god. <laughs> Combat boots, standard, okay? Um, the yin yang thing. I think the yin yang thing is gonna show up a lot more on these kinds of outfits because it's usually like music notes, yin yang. I. That's just how it is. And the little backpack. For. On the emo scale, I don't know, I'd give it like. I'd give it like a seven. I would say this is definitely more of like a beginner's outfit than someone who's been invested for a couple years. But that's just me. I kind of stand this one. The flannel, good. Okay, I like that flannel. I think I have that flannel. Uh, the skinny jeans, always gotta be black with the rips. They're not as ripped as I would like, but you know. The pierce the veil bracelet, alright. Beanie, sick, yes. That choker, you got it. See, that's why the outfit didn't get an extra point. It doesn't have your choker from the 2000s in it. Um, and the combat boots, again, signature. You always know it's a good outfit when it's got like the scene hair girl on the side. She isn't wearing the same outfit but like something similar and you're like Damn that could be me. So actually I'd give this one like an 8 out of 10. Like I'm honestly, I would totally wear that. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh here's one I really don't like. I'm so sorry. Okay, so. You can look at it, you see the My Chemical Romance tank top. Okay, those jeans, I'm living for. The jeans surpass everything. I like My Chemical Romance. I literally have an MCR poster up there. Um, I do think they're a little overhyped, but just my own opinion. Don't come at me. Those shoes look like they would kill me. Like, those shoes would slaughter me. You know what so, I mean? Yeah. helps. <laughs> <laughs> what you say? So like trying, kind of not standing that. Uh, the leather jacket. Okay, the leather jacket, it's like a different kind of black. Or maybe it's just from the picture. I don't know. I'd give this outfit personally for myself. Like, if I were looking at this outfit, I would give it literally like a 3 out of 10. I'm sorry, I'm kind of not standing it. But I feel bad because people take their time to like get these outfits together. Oh, uh, here's one I totally would have liked when I was younger. The tank top, I like. The mini skirt, I don't know how you would wear that skirt. Um, but not my personal cup of tea. I'm definitely more of a jeans kind of person. The Hello Kitty on the corner, cute. That's like an extra like point and a half. They have a lot going on here. So there's so much like I should be talking about. The jewelry, like that. The bow, totally would go with that, her kind of outfit. The black converse, good. I'd give this outfit a 9 out of 10. <laughs> um, it's something I would have totally liked and I wish I could pull off, you know. 
Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> Dan and <laughs> Phil. People create Dan and Phil outfits with like the emo subculture. If you read a Dan and Phil fan fiction, I used to be one of those gross teenagers who liked them. I've got to move you over a little bit so we can get that Miles McKenna in here. Hey, how you doing, love, mama? Let me whisper in your head. I'm looking at this. I hate the mustache galaxy thing. I think galaxy's so overrated. That's just a personal preference, though. I just think it's so, like, 2010. Like, it's, like when I was in middle school, that's when galaxy was a thing. Um, the black skinny jeans. I feel like I own those. <laughs> Definitely own those. Uh, fan of the Converse. I don't even. Fan of the Converse. Batman will be coming up properly. The Dan and Phil llama hat. For emo outfits, I'd say literally a two. I think nothing goes together. It's just our personal preference. And I know the Dan and Phil stands are gonna like slit my throat, but like have fun. <laughs> I'm rating emo, emo outfits, outfits here, and I'm kind of next. <laughs> Literally not. Okay, I see guns in this outfit. Okay, we're gonna- this doesn't seem YouTube friendly. Okay, we're just gonna skip. Mm. Oh no. Okay, this is definitely- okay. Those skinny jeans, of course, love will skip that. The shoes with the skeletons. I love skeletons, I always have. I think they're so cool. And it's in the, like the little punk rock kind of. No, I don't want to say punk rock. I'm really gonna offend the punk rock. It's in like the little hand like that. Ah, but I stand. That flannel doesn't go with their Nirvana shirt, does it? I don't know. I I wouldn't say no. Not for me personally. Nirvana. I'm gonna deduct a point for Nirvana. I can't stand Nirvana. Okay, I shouldn't say that. I have like two Nirvana songs on my playlist. Never trust anyone whose favorite band's Nirvana. I've just dealt with so many shitty people, especially guys. If guys are like, my favorite band's Nirvana, they're so deep, <laughs> like, please run away. Fast, please. I think they're very overhyped. I like to say, you know when bands are going to crap when you can buy their logo at Target or Walmart. And you know, Nirvana's just one of them. And all the girls wear a Nirvana shirt, usually they don't even know what Nirvana is, they just liked the cute little design with the smiley face. So yeah. Beanie, point. Okay. I want to rate it more, but like, I can't give Nirvana fans that kind of increase. Like, I don't want them to feel so good about themselves. <laughs> But, life lessons. I'll give you a 6 out of 10. I feel bad, because like little girl on the side's looking at me like, excuse me, biatch, give me higher. And I totally would. But I can't give her that kind of thing. Okay, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's one I've been wanting to make for a while. I'm sorry if it wasn't like entertaining or funny as my other ones. I just really wanted to do this. And yeah, so let me know what you think down below. What outfit was your favorite? Oh, what is on my hat? There's like, ooh. But if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'm not pressing it's 2020 only villain because it's lit, it's lit, it's lit. Check out this lit social media guy. Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, all other things linked down in the description down below. I'm literally ashamed to the emo community. And yeah, so I guess all I'll just say is goodbye. Ah! Ha <laughs> ha!